welcome back. Today we're dissecting a farmer's catfish. This one is actually a hybrid between the channel and blue catfish, and they cross them for a number of benefits, such as high fertility, resistance to disease, and faster growth. Unfortunately, as you can see, this one was sick from something, I'm not sure. And just look at all the scar tissue. In a farmer's setting, diseases can spread quickly and outbreaks are often. That's why there's a race to breed the most resistant fish. First we have the whiskers, or the barbels, just say, they call barbels on fish. And so these barbels are actually covered with a bunch of taste buds. And the nickname for catfish is the swimming tongue, because they can actually feel and taste the, their surroundings in the water with their uh, barbels. Because they, their, their eyes are super sensitive, like, once, once we dissect other fish, we'll see that their eyes are much bigger in proportion. When you see really big catfish with their heads like this big, their eyes are still about that small. And that's because they usually live in murky waters and they use their whiskers to feel around. Going up the head, you have the dorsal fin and the pectoral fins. And these are where your barbels, I mean, and these are where your spines are. Let me cut this. Get a better look. On bigger catfish, I don't really need them anymore. On smaller ones, these are really good defenses. And so when, I, when an animal tries to swallow them, you just stick both of them up like this, and it's really hard to swallow them. And also, an experienced fisher will tell you, you have to hold these in a certain way. Usually how I hold them is that you pin down this dorsal fin and you hold it right behind these two pectoral fins so they can't stab you because these things really hurt. So you get a close-up shot, these things are serrated. Did you hear that? And once they go in, it's not smooth coming out. It's smooth going in, but they're serrated, so it hurts way more coming out. As you know, catfish are scaleless, so it's just a smooth skin. And if you can see this line here, that's called the lateral line. So this organ basically feels the water pressure, and they're able, if you see big schools of fish swimming next to each other, they're able to know where the, the other fish is to them because this lateral line senses their fish right next to them. So they're able to swim in unison in those uh, big shoals. Then we have the pectoral fins right here. Really big on catfish. Well, on these catfish, I'm not sure about all of them. But other fish species that swim in open ocean, you'll see them much more reduced because for uh, catfish, just they swim in like murky, more shallow waters. They're really good for maneuvering and they can feel the bottom of, of the sea, of, of wherever they are, the lake bed, the river bed, they can feel the bottom. With these uh, fins, they can steer with them really good. Then we have the anal fin, which is very long. Then we have the caudal fin. Then we have the caudal fin or the tail fin, which is not super deeply forked, but definitely forked. And then you have the antipose, which is the second dorsal fin, but it's really fleshy. It's not like very, uh, uh, like raised, like the other fins, but it's like really fleshy. And that's the difference with the antipose fin compared to all the other fins. Okay. Oh, and also catfish teeth. Catfish. Most catfish won't have big teeth, even though there's some species that do. 
most catfish, their teeth are gonna be, they're gonna be like really small, they feel like sandpaper. So how they feed is that they just suck in their prey and this, and those, for those really small teeth give them the grip they need. You know, for this catfish, it varies with each species and some species actually have no whiskers at all or barbels, barbels at all, but this one has eight. This is the gonads of the female. You can tell this is a female. On the males, we have two tubes, and that will show that as a male. And above the gonads is the posterior kidneys. And that's this red tissue right here. The anterior kidneys are right here. And the swim bladder. Is this long, big, white organ. I removed the whole digestive tract so you can see it. There's the stomach here. The esophagus is here. And the kidneys, I mean, <laughs> the intestines is here. And fish, there's no large and small intestines. It's just the intestine, the intestinal tract. And that there is his spleen. Over here is the gallbladder and the liver. Very big, actually. And here, <laughs> this is all fat. I mean, that's a lot of fat. And this little body cavity. This is all the fat that came out of it. And the problem with farm raised fish is that the toxins from the food build up in the fat, in the fatty tissue of the fish. So the fatter the fish, the more toxins they can actually hold. So one problem with farm raised fish is that they can be very toxic depending on where they're coming from. And this is the, the fish's heart. <laughs> I removed it Mortal Kombat style. So you can see it better. Because it's kind of hard to see. Because the heart is actually right in there. Really close to the gills. Because that's where all the oxygenated blood is coming to. So it needs to be close to the gills. It's not going to be in the middle of the body where you expect. It's going to be up close up here. Here's the, the gill cover called the operculum that covers the gills and then you have the gills in there. Now I wanted to show you guys the backbone with uh, the tissue still on it. You can see all the veins and all the other tissue that keep the, the bones together. That's the backbone too, right here. Because now what I'm going to do is gird up all the flesh. You can see the skeleton. Alright, I have tried 
to get rid of all the meat. And this is what I got so far. I need the stronger chemicals that will like get rid of the meat really well. But since I don't have them, I just boiled it and scraped, scraped it away. So we have the skull, the upper the mandible here. Um, uh, we have we have this. I think it goes somewhere here. Uh, wait, before this goes here. Let me just put that here. No, wait a minute. Oh uh, yeah, okay. This goes like this. All right, so far so good. And this here goes. Good God, I mean, yeah, it goes here. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much uh, <laughs> what we got going on. So you can really still see. Let me get a close up. Let me, Yeah, there you go. You can see the teeth way better. Has a lot of little teeth. I mean, like hundreds of little teeth. Feel like sandpaper. Don't really hurt, but it feels like sandpaper. But the upper ones, because it seems like it was connected to it through like different tissue that I boiled off. They're kind of just flopping around. But right now. You can still see them. Two pads. One right here, another one right here. Yeah, they both go there. And then you got the top of the head. You see where the nostrils will be. They look really big. I mean, these things must have really good smelling for the, the nostril opening thingies here will be this big. Yeah, we'll get into the brain, but I don't have a, something to cut through it. I don't have anything to cut through, cut this thing in half, so you can see the brain. But yeah, you can see the mandible, and then the rest of this. I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know the name. I mean, I, I know where this, where this stuff goes, but I just, I just don't know the name. I'm definitely gonna do this again, but with the stronger chemicals, so I can so this thing will be completely white, and you won't see all this extra flesh because this is just this is gross. I mean, it looks like a zombie. <laughs> it looks like it's like half dead right now. But yeah, the eyes go somewhere here. I mean, not bad for my first shot, my first try, I guess. And here. Get the spine, all the vertebrae, and the catfish have really short ribs. Like their ribs are not long at all, and that allows for their stomach to really expand. These ribs are cut. I cut them during the dissection, but these are like the full, full-length ribs, and I cut them. I mean, I didn't cut them. But these are the full length, and they're really short. And I'll show you some pictures of catfish just get, or just gluttonous. They're just, because their stomach can expand a lot. They have a big mouth. I mean, look at that. The gape is just huge. I mean, obviously this is just <laughs> not <laughs> what it usually is. But yeah, it can really open up wide. There's a lot of footages that of catfish swallowing things too big. Just watch one today of just trying to swallow a turtle. I mean, we're gonna learn some more about these guys because they're really fascinating creatures. So stay tuned. I mean, I just can't get over these teeth. I mean, even though they're not sharp and they don't hurt, I mean, there's just so much. I mean, they really grip into my skin. Like, if this thing was like huge, if my whole hand was in there. I wouldn't be able to pull it out. I mean, it has a lot of grip. 
but yeah that's pretty much the rundown this is catfish if you're listening to the other video you can see that some of the vertebrae are fused vertebrae two through four are fused to make that complex sertrum centrum yeah, I, I still gotta, I still gotta know where uh, all this goes, but yeah, you get the gist. <laughs> and I almost forgot to mention about the spines. <clears throat> I, you can see them much better now. Better now, you can see that serrated edge right there. That when those things go in, it's really hard to pull out. And when, if you do pull it out, it's like it does a lot of damage. It's like stingray spines. Very pointy. Probably use this as a weapon. These are the two pectoral ones. And then the dorsal. Dorsal one is much smaller and much smoother. But it still will penetrate very easily. Probably easier because it's thinner and more cylindrical than the other two. But yeah, this is the catfish's main defense. And some of them are venomous. Only I heard the striped eel catfish has killed somebody, but usually the toxin is not going to be strong enough to actually kill someone. This is going to be super painful.